Welcome to our video. Today, we'll talk all about Comoros. The country, the land, the people, the culture, the place, and more. As well as a bit of history. Hang out with us as we enjoy some of the most beautiful landscapes and scenes that make Comoros exactly unique compared to any place in the world. All in all, we'll be taking a look at 21 countries of Africa in this series. If you enjoy learning about new places, sights, sounds, people, or are considering vacationing, consider watching another one of our videos. The Comoros is a volcanic archipelago off of Africa's east coast. That's a group of volcanic islands. It's in the warm Indian Ocean waters of the Mozambique Channel. The nation's state's largest island, Grand Comorie, is ringed by beaches and old lava from active Mount Carthola volcano. Around the port, in Medina, the capital, Moroni, are carved doors and a white colonnade mosque. This recalls the island's Arab heritage. The islands were ceded to the French in 1841 and became a French protectorate in 1886 before being formally adopted as a colonial possession in 1912. The Comoros were then governed as part of Madagascar until 1947 when they became separate as a French overseas territory. Most of the population there are Sunni Muslims, and Islam is the state religion. More than two-thirds of the people live in rural areas, and most of the population is centered around the two larger islands. The Grand Island contains about half the country's population in total, and Juan about two-fifths, and Moheli less than one-tenth. The Comoros Islands has an estimated gross domestic product GDP per capita income of about $700 US. It's among the world's poorest and least developed nations. All visitors to Comoros are required to have visas. Nationals of any country can obtain a visa on arrival for a maximum stay of 45 days. The people of Comoros are strong followers of Islam, and religious celebrations are widely observed. The local culture is a hodgepodge of Arab, French, and African influences. The residences have a strong regard for music and other performance arts, and local artisans are skilled in sculpture, pottery, embroidery, and more. The Comoros franc is the official currency of the African island nation, and it's known for its basketry. While the food there is consistent with many mainland African foods, with lots of plantains, coconuts, banana leaves, and cassava, the inhabitants also enjoy a bounty of seafood, including lobsters, crabs, and fish. There are three airports in Comoros with scheduled flights. The biggest airport in Comoros is Moroni. H-A-H, if you're looking for it on a map, looking a flight there. Prince Said International Airport with flights to eight destinations in six different countries. Recently, there was a study done that says Tanzania, Kenya, and the Comoros are among the world's 10 most naturally beautiful countries. Three African countries have scooped up the top slots in the global ranking of countries with the most and best tourists pulling natural beauty spots. With us over the next few minutes as we enjoy the sights, the sounds, the views, and the landscape that make Comoros unique. Enjoy.